The drone attacked the border patrol in the Belgorod region. The armed forces of Ukraine fired at the border patrol in the Belgorod region with AGS-17 grenades, dropping the latter from a quadricopter. In total, four 30mm guns were dropped. Grenade VOG-17, however, it is noted that the victims were avoided. Information on this subject is provided by MASH referring to its own sources. It is noted that thanks to the means of control, it was possible to establish that the drone flew in from the village of Basovo, Kharkiv region, which is located approximately one kilometer from the border with the Belgorod region. So far, there are no official comments on this subject from the governor of the Belgorod region, Vyacheslav Gladkov. Ukrainian forces showed unmanned aerial vehicle attacks on a Russian armored vehicle recently with expected results. Probably they were using converted RKG-1600 drone drop munition. The video was made public by Ukraine Weapons Tracker. Seemingly Ukrainian forces are using converted grenades as drone drop munition to engage the enemy. The ammunition in the video is partially similar to the RKG-3 hand grenade, but only the case of the grenade is still there. Recently, Ukrainian forces also utilized RKG-1600 drone drop munition to hit what are claimed to be Russian MRLS resupply vehicles. RKG-3, Rebna Cumulativnaya Granada, handheld shape charge grenade, is a series of Soviet anti-tank hand grenades. Meanwhile, units of the drone forces and artillery of the defense forces of Ukraine today struck three command centers and five ammunition depots of the enemy. Ukraine launched five aerial attacks and 25 missile strikes, using multiple rocket launchers more than 10 times. Ukraine says its forces have battled oncoming Ukraine troops to a standstill in the country's south and inflicted significant losses. Russian soldiers held their positions during fierce fighting in the Dnipro region and Ukrainian troops were also targeted in the eastern region of Donetsk, Russia's defense ministry said on Sunday. Ukraine's assault infantry, supported by tanks, was involved in an incredible assault on Russian positions on one of the front lines. The powerful and well-coordinated attack of the Ukrainian military turned out to be so impressive that the Russian military, who firmly held the line of defense, were quickly forced to retreat. In video footage taken by the Ukraine military, you can see the assault on Russian positions by Ukrainian infantrymen with the support of heavy military equipment. Thanks to the coordinated actions of the units, the Russian military was successfully driven out of the area they occupied, while on the footage you can see that the Ukrainian troops themselves clearly did not expect such an open and powerful offensive, and therefore were forced to leave their defensive shelters and flee in the direction next defensive line. It is noteworthy that the Russian military held the defense with a relatively narrow front, however, the positions were arranged in such a way as to avoid any unexpected breakthrough, but, nevertheless, this tactical advantage did not ensure the preservation of this area for the Ukrainian armed forces. Meanwhile, the Russian military severely suppressed the artillery fire of the Gradov advancing on the Lyons Vitovo Kremenea forces of the armed forces of Ukraine. As a result of the night attempt of the armed forces of Ukraine to break through to the Svetovo Kremenea line, the Ukrainian military suffered serious losses, finding themselves in open areas under heavy fire from Russian Grad multiple launch rocket systems. Judging by the video footage from the site of the strikes, the density of the Russian MLRS attack was very high, which indicates the fact that the attack was carried out against a large group of Ukrainian troops. In the presented video frames, you can see how two dozen pieces of ammunition are simultaneously fired at a group of Ukrainian military personnel at once, which covers a relatively small area, which indicates a high density of strikes. In fact, the attempt of the Ukrainian military to break through the line of defense turned into another serious loss for the Ukrainian army in this direction. According to sources, in total, two armored groups took part in the attack on the Svetovo Kremenea line, which, having suffered significant losses, were forced to retreat. Meanwhile, 
Vladimir Putin's commanders are reported to have secretly moved almost 100 air defense missiles to Russia from allied Belarus, sparking fears he is planning to launch a large-scale attack in Ukraine. Analysts have said the movement of the S-300 and S-400 missiles is either a sign of Russia taking precautions against a potential Ukrainian blitz in retaliation for Moscow's recent strikes or of a larger atrocity still to come the use of a dirty bomb. Whatever Russia has in mind to inflict on Ukraine, the Kremlin appears to be expecting retaliation on its own soil from Ukraine or the West, an analyst told The Mirror in an interview on Friday. Their identity was kept confidential. Analysts believe with these missile moves done so rapidly, just prior to this week's massive bombardments, the two are interconnected, they said. But more ominously, they may indicate that worse may yet be to come and they are preparing for a big reaction to this activity. There has been talking of a dirty bomb. The United States military said it recorded 111 Russian missile strikes and 26 kamikaze drones on Tuesday, which General Mark Milley said was likely the largest wave of missiles that we've seen since the beginning of the war. The attack also resulted in a missile landing in NATO member Poland, killing two people four miles from the Ukrainian border. The Mirror reported that around 20 IL-76 large military transport flights were recorded from November 9th to 13th, flying from Belarus to the west and south Russia. Meanwhile, miles of trenches and military fortifications are being built to the north of Crimea in anticipation of Ukraine's advancing forces, footage has shown. After Ukraine retook the southern port city of Kherson last week, Putin's forces appear to have started preparing for conflict deeper in Russian territory, with footage showing tanks being transported to the area of Henich's Kaherka. Rows of tents intended for Russian soldiers, as well as trenches dug in the ground and fortified with metal and wood, can also be seen in the footage. Crimea's temporary governor Sergei Aksionov confirmed Russia was carrying out fortification work on Friday.